is how to play the game! That is an epic fucking intro, dude. And I have to warn everyone, warning, what you may see right now is going to be absolutely disgusting. Sound good? Alright, that's... sounds good to me. Stall! The plane has stalled! The plane has stalled! Socle bleu! <laughs> oh! Oh, we made it. Well, that's like a train yard or something down there. Well, there are times when maybe I'm like, man, I'd like to make a racial comment here or there. So, yeah, every once in a while. I mean, to be honest, of course. No, actually, I have to tell you, the stereotypes are actually not offensive. In general, cultural stereotypes are not offensive at all. Unless you're a little, like, a little wimpy bitch and you're just so overly sensitive to everything. Well, I'm not. People have made fun of me for being Italian and Polish over the years. I don't care. I think that the stereotypes are fine, as long as you're not personally going out on someone and insulting someone's entire culture or whatever. It's just silly fun. That's like saying, if you drew a cartoon of a guy in France with a, with those berets on, a checkered shirt, or a striped shirt, and he's holding a big French bread, a thing of sticky cheese, drinking wine, and eating croissants, is that insulting to the French just because you drew that cartoon? If that's the case, every Looney Tune in history is insanely offensive and should be completely removed. So I think people need to grow the fuck up. I'm playing a woodwind instrument. I'm Japanese. So guys, rem reminder, we only have about 45 minutes left on the stream. The top contributor basically gets to be the person to choose where we go next time around. Okay? And I appreciate those of you who have been contributing, but it's very slow right now. The top contributor is still She-Hulk Fanatic with an $8 super chat. So it's anyone's game in the next 45 minutes. It really is. I would never demand a contribution. Give me your money. Yufio did a $10 super chat saying if I didn't have baggage of the internet and any documented history and I could escape streaming, what would I do for a career? Uh, it has nothing to do with that. If I could if I could escape the trolls is what you mean to say. Because I don't feel like anything that I've ever done on the internet at all has been that bad. Um, there's been a few missteps here and there, but most of it is just silly, stupid shit. But when you have an entire group of people, hundreds if not thousands of people on the internet that literally misrepresent you, constantly for their own personal gain that's the problem it's not that you search the internet and you find me making a funny face oh and then five thousand people saying that it's you know me doing something disgusting in front of kids which isn't what it was oh, splashed and then it got on my hand so my hands like sticky or searching the internet and oh this guy is a scammer and this guy that. none of it's true that's the problem the problem is not documented history on the internet the problem is monstrous slander on the internet okay now i've already said that what i would have liked to do at some point in my life was open like a restaurant. Like actually have a restaurant or two, a series of businesses or restaurants that I could oversee. And uh, you know, would it be Italian or not? I have no idea. At one point I thought I would be a franchisee, maybe franchise out a bunch of stores and stuff. But you know, and basically that dream kind of went away. When I moved out here and things financially went bad because of so many malicious activities against me, plus because of my own bad financial decisions, it was definitely a combination of both factors. Um, you know, I basically kind of realized that was never gonna happen, you know? I'm never gonna get to a position where in life, I'm gonna be ahead so much on money that I'm gonna be able to do that, ever. Like, I would have to, I would have to win the fucking internet. Or, win the internet. I would have to win the lottery, is what I meant to say. I'd have to win the lottery to do it. I will never, you know, could I get myself to a better financial position? Yes. Will I ever have so much money that I can invest in stuff like that? Shit like that? No. It's just never gonna happen. I'm a realist, you know? I'm not stupid. Fuck you. You're a liar. So, we've got roughly about a half an hour left on the stream tonight, guys, okay? Again, top contributor right now is still Swedish Fish with a $10 super chat. And if no one tops $10... They will be able to pick where we're going to fly next time we do Flight Simulator, okay? Super Chats tonight have been pretty good, but tips have been uh, incredibly bad, which is not good because I really need help with tips. So guys, if you are planning to contribute, like a last-minute contribution to become the top contributor, if you could tip me, please do. I need help to pay bills coming up in the next couple of weeks, and it ain't going to work with Super Chats because Super Chats I don't get till at this point, late September, all right? So please, if you could tip me, please do. The hardcore begging season. I wonder if there's someone just sitting around biding their time at the very last minute, they're going to drop, like, a bomb and just kick everyone out of the water. I mean, it might happen, it might not, I don't know. <laughs> I guess we'll see. What the hell? <laughs> uh, well, I certainly was not expecting that. Joel, 
did a $73.45 tip. Okay? So before we even go any further, that qualifies both for the gunner glasses and the vest. And since we're almost out of time for the night, I definitely want to get the vest pull going right away. So let me do that immediately before I even read his message. Okay? I've never run into this thing before. What is it, a money creature? Yeah, look. It's a money creature. It just throws money around. <laughs> what the hell was that? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, it's not vest time. I'm sorry, guys. The vest is canceled. I thought that we had more than we had. That's totally my fault. That's absolutely 100% my fault. We're at 93. I thought that we had 28. The vest is canceled. The poll has ended. The vest is canceled. We're only at 93. I jumped the gun. I was so excited. I jumped the gun. Sorry, it's canceled. The vest is canceled. We still have a chance to have it, but for now it's canceled. Uh, Kevin Durant tipped me $7, and that gets us qualified for the vest poll. Thank you guys, at least we did hit $100. That's very nice of you. Now we can do the vest poll quickly. Oh no, what a greedy bastard. See, she old fanatic says Phil's doing better on YouTube. Tips and super chats are good. I think Twitch screwing him was a blessing. Here's the truth, all right? I feel that like people here are more engaged in the content. A lot of people who just came to Twitch were there to just troll Twitch streamers and stuff. And so I feel that people who come to my streams here on YouTube are here to genuinely enjoy the content. They're still trolling, don't get me wrong. They're still trolling element. There's still shitheads who come by and try to, to derail things. But I've noticed a lot more engagement. I could play games that normally wouldn't have even gotten that much attention over on, on Twitch. And I'm playing them here and people are really enjoying them. Like Fallout New Vegas, I don't even know if that would have worked on Twitch. It seems to be working incredibly well on YouTube. Okay? Um, all right, Gabe Horn, you're out of here. You're done. I'm done with you. Because we all know that you're not Joel. Because Joel did a super chat afterward. So now you're banned and don't ask to come back. You're an asshole. Okay. I'm just going to ban. But yeah, um, I think that the community that we're actually building here uh, is much better, honestly. Well, okay, it's not much better. It's just, it seems like it's a more tightly knit community of people who like what I'm doing rather than having those ironic viewers who are here just to troll constantly. It seems like there's less of that element and more people here genuinely to enjoy what we're doing. You see what I'm saying? Um, but what I would argue, what I would argue is... Um, we need YouTube to have all the features of Twitch or I will never catch up. You know what I'm saying? Like until they get gifted memberships, until they get some kind of like special membership that's not full price, like, like they have the Twitch Prime, you know, until they, they get those features, I really don't feel that we're going to ever get to where I was on Twitch. Because it is true, Super Chats are doing very good now. Super Chats in the last month, we've seen a surge in Super Chats and it's helping out a lot. And I really appreciate anyone who is Super Chatting, especially if for some reason you can't tip. The Super Chats are helping, okay? But the memberships, look where we're at, 236, right? 236 memberships, that's it. And, you know, are we growing slowly? We are. Don't get me wrong, I'm grateful for every member that's here. But 900, 900 versus 236. You see what I'm saying? That's a significant difference. Uh, I need that money to pay my WWE Champions bills. And, you know, I don't think that um, without some kind of help from YouTube, I don't think we're going to catch up. I'm being honest, like, it's gonna take, it's too much effort to have 900 individuals come and sub, especially when my streams are only getting 300, 400 viewers. We used to have that element over on Twitch because there were, you would have the element of people just coming in to watch someone play a new release. You have the element of, oh, I want to help out people a lot, so I'm gonna gift this or gift that. And we don't have that here. You know, it's just, it's just not possible. It's disappointing, to say the least. Twitch, tip me a dollar thirty and says, baby, come back. I could change, baby, I could change. That is true. See, Gray Fox says, you have to understand, this is 238 real members, not just gifted subs. And I and I agree with that. I appreciate that. I mean, the, the, the difference in income of what I was making on Twitch and what I'm making here on YouTube is astronomical difference. I mean, let me if I actually think about it realistically, I'm probably only making about 50 to maybe 60% right now on YouTube than I was making through Twitch. Because that many subs made that. And, and cheers, too. Don't get me wrong. Cheers weren't always sky high or anything on Twitch, but cheers were pretty consistent. You wouldn't realize it because the cheers would come in. It would be like small cheer, small cheer, small cheer. But at the end of the stream, you'd look like, oh, it added up significant. People just didn't really realize that, you know? So there's a big difference in what, just the base of what I was making just by streaming on Twitch between the cheering and the subs, and it's way less on YouTube, okay? Now, tipping obviously has helped to make up for some of that, but that's why you've noticed the last couple of months, I've had bigger tip skulls, I've had to have marathons and stuff to try to help out with, but like right now, unless I'm hitting every tip skull every day, I will not have enough to pay my mortgage again this month. I'm probably going to have to do another event right before, in the hopes that I can raise enough to pay, and there's just nothing I can do about it. That's just the way it is right now until things 
grow bigger and bigger and bigger. A 600, 700 subscriber difference, you're talking a giant loss of income that I'm trying to make up for, all right? But I feel like we will eventually. I do. I feel like we'll get there. It's just going to take time and diligence and patience, you know? What we want, good Dark shit. Dark Feels a stupid, apparently ugly, jobless, narcissistic, egotistical man-child who banks <laughs> people's money just by sitting on his fat there ass. Yeah. Sucking a view against 21st century and will never adapt to a professional level in gaming. Do not donate to this loser. He only <laughs> using good money just to buy fast food, making his fans oh, I buy pay fast for his food. own bills and keeps Moses unearned. <laughs> There's still this back here. And it's still in the back of my neck, the back of my head, the back of my mind, and it's always telling me. It's WWE Champions time. I love it. I love it. Is is a mobile game addict. Still has indoctrinated children who send him money. Blatantly milking for money. It's a money pit. It's gone. Just gone like that. In an instant. Fucking gone. I just care about money. That I just can't help it. I eBay. Contributions are mandatory. But I need your help. I am appealing directly to you. No decency, no respect, no common sense, no fucking maturity. Is the guy who just doesn't get reality. <laughs>